Hey guys, so I wanted to make a short little video to just give you some tips and advice for when you go to cut your vinyl. So what you're looking at here is a piece of vinyl. Um, and I know it's, it's hard to see the design. So one of the first things that I, I want to recommend before you touch your vinyl at all is I want you to pull up your Desmos design. And I want you to think about what are the elements of your design that you actually want to be in color. And what are the parts that you want to be kind of the negative space, um, the things that are not in color. Because in the vinyl, every time you pick, the opposite layer has to be removed. So it kind of goes in a, in a sequential pattern in terms of if you take out the outside, then the next layer has to remain. And the next layer then has to be removed. Um, and so I know that's kind of hard to, to visualize. So let's take a look at one of these. I'm actually just going to cut this one out. Uh, this is someone's design. I actually messed up on it. I had to print another one. Um, so you're going to receive something like this. You're going to get a tile with your design. And I know that you can't see this at all. So one of the first things that I have people do, or you, in your case do, is remove the outside layer. Um, and when I do that, it kind of gives me a focal point. And I don't know if you can see this any better in the video. Um, but what we're looking at is a it's a OSU. There's a couple of different borders and things like that. And so now I can see my outside square. And it's really hard to tell you, but you're going to see here in a minute, there's a trim here and there's another layer. And so due to process of elimination, I have to remove the next layer in here. So there's this little border. And you can see that. So in order to keep that, make that show, I have to remove this border here. And so this is why it's important before you pick, you need to think about what elements do you actually want to remain in color, and which do you want to be eliminated. Now, there's a whole other border just like this one right here. And so for order for that to stand out, I need to bring that out. And I just kind of follow this process through and through until I get what I want, taking my time. Now, I don't have to do every single other layer. Like, there's a row right here. I know it's hard for you to see again. There's another row right here. Maybe I want to keep all that together. I could. In this case, I'm going to remove it just for the sake of this video. But you need to think about what it is that you want to keep and what you want to lose. And so I'm going to pull this out of here. And now i got to look in here. All right, I'm going to pull this big chunk out. Had I cut the opposite and pulled out the opposite pieces, this would have looked so much different. So now we can start to see um, a pattern build here a little bit. Now there's, in this particular case, whatever this is, there's one, two, three, there's four layers here. And maybe I don't want it that drastic, so I might just take out the inside here. Maybe I take this out here. And now I can at least see the design start to happen. And now maybe if I want to get clever, I can take out this middle piece. So now you can see that. That's really starting to turn out sharp here. And so as you go through, you just got to take your time. You got to go slow. Now, once again, it starts from the very beginning, understanding your negative and positive space. And so if I want these, I know I got to take out the things in between. Now, if I take out a piece like this and realize, ooh, I want that back in there. At this point, there's no harm done. I could actually stick it back in wherever I want. I could put it right here. I could put it back in that square and say I want it. No problem at this point. It's not until we stick it to the transfer paper that we actually can no longer make any changes. But for now, in this picking phase, we're good. So I'm just going to make one more little piece here. Just like that. And there we go. Now we've got our design that we want. And so then when we get to this next phase here, once we have what we want, we're going to go through and we're going to cut out a strip that's going to be roughly the same size here. So I'm just going to measure this up. 
Alright, and I'm just gonna make a I'm just gonna cut this real quick. Okay, so check this out here. So now what we do, this is our, our contact paper, our transfer paper really. And so I've got our design here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this corner. It's important here that we get this laid out as much as we can. I'm just gonna smooth this on, layer this across, and then I gotta smooth it. And you're gonna have like a device but you can use like a ruler, anything, old credit card, hotel key. You're scoot this across, just like that. Once you have this, this is pretty much final at this point. And then when I go to peel this off, it's right there, and it's transfer paper because now whatever I transfer this to, it's going to stick. It's going to remain. Um, so let's see if I can grab something here. Maybe I'll just grab. I'm just going to grab the back of this paper just so you can see. And then I just stick it on wherever, whatever it is that I want for you. I think you've got some card stock and things that you're gonna be using, but whatever material it is, I smooth that on there just like this to make it stick. And this is no different than like the de decals you have on your cars. And just peel this off nice and slow. Now you can reuse this again if you need to. I might actually hold on to that just because it's a good piece of transfer paper and this stuff is not cheap. But there I go. I've got it. Ready to rock and roll. Hey, best of luck. Take your time. Be patient. Think and plan first before you start picking and then enjoy the picking journey. So maybe you have a lot of lines, maybe you have some amazing designs. So just uh, go slow, be smart, take your time, and it's going to turn out amazing. Take care, guys.